Hello boys and girls, welcome to Peek Over My Shoulder in Wasteland 2. Again, uh, I have decided, although I already kind of started, uh, to start over and consider my uh, mm, first first <coughs> try as a test run because uh, in those uh, few hours uh, I learned that skill-wise could have taken a few different choices uh, when uh, uh, when assigning stuff m uh, to my burgers. So I am going to start a new game. Yay! Show me the roster. Or however it's pronounced. I have no clue. <laughs> and uh, my buggers are all. Come on, game, behave. I think it's uh, still loading up. Okay. So my buggers are all uh, exported here. And. Uh, Yes, the primary bugger in this world, she will be called Walking, as a reference to Walking Dusk, uh, who has been uh, my player character in some other games. <coughs> and uh, the skills for her is, uh, if not identical, then pretty much the same as I originally set them out to be and uh, and also this reflects the very same attribute and skill tree that I advised uh, for making uh, in uh, in my friend's game well a glimpse into the wasteland and uh, this particular character uh, is reflecting another character uh, from an ongoing uh, RPG, so so there's that. Now, appearance-wise, I have already saved everything. Yes. Now the second one. Originally, uh, when I created them, I wanted to start off with identical skills and identical uh, attributes and uh, having played the game a little bit I decided that I will start off with identical attributes or pretty much the same attributes but I will divert them uh, skill wise uh, they both get brawling however uh, walking two will have outdoorsman as well, but instead of uh, smart assing, uh, she will uh, uh, she will do sweet talk to animals. And while I plan to give uh, walking one uh, energy weapon skill. Pretty soon, I have given uh, Walking to some shotgun skill, and instead of computers, she'll be doing safes. And uh, because uh, she's good with all sorts of uh, uh, tiny things and tinkering, like the rest of us, uh, I also gave her the surgeon skill because that was the one skill our party was completely lacking and that we needed on, on occasion. So let's see how that goes. Yes. Now, we have our tough guy. I called him punching, but actually... Okay, so I did give him uh, brawling skill, but he 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 has the 
he does all the regular commandos uh, stuff. I might have to look it over. Let's see, so he is also good at uh, breaking the walls and stuff. Mm. Yeah, let's, uh, uh, and since uh, he's, he's the highest constitution wise, I mean the strongest constitution wise and uh, uh, likely to be the last one standing, he'll be playing doctor. Now let's see. What did I give the other guy? I also made him slightly older than uh, he originally was. Uh, and tinkering, let's check out his statistics. So I tried to make it so that um, that we have the whole uh, skill tree covered. So I gave him demolitions, which I also thought uh, uh, would be handy. Weaponsmithing. That's that's what he originally had as well, and he would be the one uh, to do lock picking and mechanical repairs. And now this raises question: Who does alarm disarming? Oh, and he's the youngest one. <laughs> so let's see, you. Surgeon, safe cracking, shotguns. Ah, okay, so I gave her animal whisperer instead of alarm disarming. Carry on. And you. Mm. I'm gonna take away his uh, blades and instead. Okay, let's give him this. So now we have, <coughs> between the four of us, we will have all of these covered. And I think that's, yeah, there are eight of these. So theoretically, a party of four should be able to cover all these. Okay, we're good, we're good. Right, so let's play, I guess. And once again, I will start on Dork. And I will be skipping uh, the intro movie because I already uh, watched through it once. And uh, there be musings about uh, which characters from Wasteland 1 uh, might, be, uh, might be featured. Uh, besides Angela and, uh, and Vargas who are uh, directly pointed out and we learn that uh, the other guys are just some other rangers so i won't i won't watch it again for now if i can skip it of course which i don't know Hello. Thank you. Yay, we, we could skip it. Okay, so we will go through uh, Vargas dialogue again. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Wait, do I say his name? Shaded yellow now. Is that something to do with the skills change? 
and steady and steady and steady. Okay, let's carry on. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. Uh huh. So I will start from the end again. Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Uh, tower. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. Uh -huh. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. Uh -huh. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. Duty! Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission. Uh -huh. You've already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a Charlie! ranger from becoming straight up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. Mm -hmm. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, <laughs> you'll find the other. Uh-huh. Soon we get to be smart ass. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. Uh -huh. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger. We won't let you in. <laughs> okay, so this is where smart ass rate comes in. Smart ass, kiss ass, hard ass. Smart ass. Mm, using logic on me, eh? <laughs> smart ass. <laughs> logic and observation will change some folks' minds, and you can catch people in lies that way. But sometimes it only makes them mad, so be careful. <laughs> Nobody likes to be caught. In this case, you're right. I should let you in, but I got a feeling about you four. You got depths you don't even know you have, and it's going to take adversity to tap them. So I'm sending you out undergunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you. You'll thank me later. Gee, uh, thanks. <laughs> it's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Okay. There you go. Oh, okay. It seems like Good the... Good luck out there, recruits. Oh, never mind. I was going to say that the tutorial messages seem to have vanished because it's the second game, but they are still here. Okay, let's go grab that shovel. And you will be in charge of the archaeology and, and stuff. Also save the game. So once again, beginning, and I want to check something. Uh, display, did I? 
Oh, okay, so that's why some of the text is yellow. Except I don't need it, so I will... Oh, I will change... Uh-huh, yeah, so the uh, previously red text uh, displays uh, a lighter. So that's it's distinguishable from the greens. I don't know why I left it on. Okay. Back to the game. And now we do perception. I will do a very quick sweep of all tombstones, although I have technically taken a look of all of them. But just in case it has any bearing on the gameplay later on. All the uh, new vision stuff, like uh, getting a grasp of controls and and uh, fumbling around, will be absent from this uh, episode. But I uh, will uh, probably probably mm, upload the uh, first take uh, as well. Although uh, I have uh, some audio is issues in there. Like when the mic levels aren't high, then uh, then you can barely hear me. And when they are, and the, uh, when I turn them up, then I get the mic interference, which I still don't know uh, how to get rid of when it happens because it doesn't always happen. Okay, let's talk to you. Hello. Hmm. Humongous. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Ah, oh, okay, wait, let me turn this back on. The nah, these are still a little bit harder to see. There will have to be some tinkering with the controls, otherwise it, it's not a new game. Okay. Camera rotation. If I do the rotation, will the tutorial message go away? No? Okay, let's talk. Okay, now I caught the uh, message about the goat's thingy. Hello. Start from the end. Hmm. 
well, let's not start shopping yet. Uh, besides, uh, like I try to... Nothing, goodbye, quick save. So, I'm going to explain this once again. Uh, that I'm going to try and uh, follow one of my ever-present uh, game objectives or sort of guidelines uh, which is to not uh, uh, not buy supplies from uh, traders as much as possible so like try to uh, get by only by uh, uh, scavenging and uh, and looting and whatnot, and then making and and so on. Okay, let's dig dig up that thingy. Oh, and let's get kicked in the butt as well because it's going to be fun. Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Of course you did. Now let's get the business way. Like shovel. Okay, I don't think we have distributed to do that. So if I drag it, will it? blend and you don't need your cigarettes on the hot bar understand no 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 do not drop pick it up pick it up take and now it drags the shovel into the quick bar Oh wait, let's take these away from here first. Can I just, I don't know, assign the key? No? <laughs> no! How did... At least now I know how, uh, how that revolver got uh, lost during some stuff. So how do I drag it into here? Ooh, let's try doing shit to goat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I, I assign these again? Let's try right click dragging. Oh, wait. Attributes, skills. No. No, no, no. Oh, damn. totally did it last time. Wait, okay, let's step away, pick it up, take it. Now let's check it again. Right click. Oh, okay, of course. Duh. So let's see, what do we need? Save two, and let's go walk over there. Talk to the graffiti man. Check out the teenagers. <laughs> 
thank you. And of course. Now the next big question is what we are going to do about Angela. Because on one uh, on one hand as far as this what is that a skull? Oh no, let's just look this way. <laughs> totally a skull. Okay. Uh, walking to take the shovel and digs a hole. Ooh! <laughs> awesome! Using a shovel. What else have we got here? <laughs> so, what did they. What did they ask at first? I always lost that message. So, we're the Echo team, huh? How appropriate. <laughs> Get your own water, punk. Right. Now let's go check out Angela. Oh, there's another thingy here. Okay, and now, before we get over here, let's save the game and... Okay... So basically, I want to know what happens if we say no to her request to come along. Because on one hand, it will be helpful and uh, and it will be story appropriate. On the other hand, I would really like to get us going on our own. Also not share the experience with far stronger character. And we can we can do the revenge for her. So at first I'm going to say no and let's see what God happens. Damn it, Ace. <laughs> okay, let's ask all the questions. So yes, I'm just going through all the speech options a little bit faster because I have already done this so I don't have this uh, fresh uh, nubai to this uh, dialogue anymore. <laughs> it's 
snake. <laughs> I started to think later that the uh, uh, time uh, uh, time frame references uh, match up with uh, uh, with the game releases. Like the uh, first game was eighty eight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> They don't know what happened to him. Okay, okay, it's cool. I misread that the first time around. He wasn't he wasn't no general back then. <laughs> Say, listen. Okay. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we've been fighting side by side for nigh yes. on twenty years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well. I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well, I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. I may be old and slow, but I know the waist's like the back of my hand. What do you say? So basically, I want to know what happens uh, if we say no. Yeah, I guess it's probably wise not to piss off the general your first day out, but if you change your mind, oh, okay. come find me. I'll be cooling my heels around here until Vargas decides I'm emotionally fit to go back out on patrol. Later. Okay, in this case we're gonna stick with this decision. So... <coughs> I think uh, if we pick her up right now... Uh, we won't be able to... Uh, part ways until... Uh, we have caught up with Ace's killer, or at least something Ace related, but uh, if I leave her waiting here now, then uh, we will always have the chance to come and notify her uh, when we're about to, you know, go that way. Junk! Yay! Okay, now let's distribute stuff. So, you're gonna keep the shotgun shells. Tobacco, gimme. Wait, did we drop it again? No, damn it. Next time I, I'm just gonna distribute everything. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> now what else have you got? Give all junk here. Large ring junk. Uh, let her keep the ammo for now. Junk. And I don't think we can actually access these mounds once they are empty. Right. Did we already dig this up? I think we did. Oh, hey, I think we can... Uh, oh! Oh! Okay. So, let's see... Mirror... Here... And... Rifle ammo... Here. Quick save. 
No, that was the wrong button. Quick save. And off to the wasteland we go. Ah, uh, like, yes. Okay. Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Now I know I assigned keys to the radio. Is there like one zero? Oh, never mind. Roger, Echo one. Oh, it's there a dialogue anyway. Of course. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. <laughs> if you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. Uh, if you're gonna go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater unit Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Tool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeater. You must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location. Until now, Woodson's been our dispatcher. <laughs> Ace is dead, made me realize I've spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world, and how it's changed. I need to know what's going on out there. I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the waste. <laughs> and naturally, immediately I start suspecting that uh, uh, <laughs> that Vargas has some other things uh, planned. I mean, not not in a good way. Like high profile mole. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. I don't want to sound self-conscious or nothing. It is vital that all teams stay in radio contact with me here at the base. We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines uh -huh. being attacked by raiders, youth beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. Uh, 10 more Echo 1, carry on. Ranger Command out. Bye bye. Okay, another manual save here because I'm about, I'm bound to fuck up sooner or later, especially with the random encounters. Save. Probably. Okay. Let's see if I can delete these. Spoilers, I guess. <coughs> so I know that uh, we can't get very far until some uh, distress kicks in. But I will be trying uh, to sort of tiddle that around a little bit. So let's check. I think high pole was here and uh, when the distress uh, calls kick in that's where we're going. Ah, oh, I wonder what these are. And I remember there being some radiation here and there uh, cutting us off. Oh, this is the river, isn't it? Okay, so what's the water status? 
Oh, 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 all that good. Let's go to the greens. SOS! SOS! Okay. Is anybody out there? This is High Pool. We are under attack. I repeat, we are under attack. Raiders with mortars and explosives are blasting our walls. If anybody can hear this, come yep. at once. Don't know how long we can hold up. Mm-hmm. And when will the other kick in? Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Copy Echo One. Appreciate the update. Okay, so they won't uh, accept this uh, info until I have received both Ranger stress call. This is Ag Center. Come in. We're under attack. The plants, they're, they're mutating out of control. <laughs> Ag Center, this is Citadel Base. Can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? <laughs> yes, goddammit, the plants. What's <laughs> gone wrong with them? Team Echo, this is. Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Oh, Over. formative. Oh, I shouldn't talk before he's finished. Roger that. Listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies, and both sounded like they were deteriorating rapidly. While the repeaters are still alpha level priority, civilian emergencies have to come first before heading back out to get the repeaters. Sending you the coordinates for both locations now. Copy. Yeah. Okay, so they are they are both quite close. Still, I'm going to high pool first. If uh, if for nothing else, then uh, because I have already witnessed uh, how the things in uh, in Ag Center uh, will be happening so I want to also check if there will be a difference depending on uh, which one you respond to, uh, to first. Uh huh. Suspicious isn't it Echo One? Like someone's monitoring our transmission trying to stop our little radio experiment before it starts. Keep an eye out for suspect characters. <laughs> Copy that. Echo One. Quick save. Huh, and we still haven't come by any oasis yet. <laughs> Voila! Yes. Quick save. Oh, we can stop? What does it mean? Let's check the map. I want to see what's that. I'm like headed the right way almost. I wonder if the oasis will stay in place. I'm guessing there will be a radiation. Marking in the map. <gasps> and we can totally go into the mountains. What's the counter say? Ranger Team Echo One, this is Ranger Citadel. Come in. Uh, okay, so they. 10 4 Echo One, just got a call from the level oh. they mine. They've got some men trapped in a cave in. Need some help getting dynamite down to the collapse. Apparently, some of the old tunnels are infested with creepy crawling. Get over there as quick as you can. You'll know how long those men can hold out. Copy? 10-4 Echo One. Send you the coordinates now. Read your Citadel out. Okay, so... These, uh... Must be the, uh... Sort of... Um... Cavernous areas and whatnot. Except, I don't want to get this submission yet, so I'm going to reload. Uh, did 
did we did we refill? Yes. Instead, let's uh, head where we were heading originally. What a nice mountain pass, how serene. Okay, and for now, we shall ignore this one and go there instead. Oasis? <laughs> awesome! Quick save and I bet there be random encounters here so I will diddle daddle around, uh, around this area a little bit. See if we can run into raiders and more importantly if we can survive them and I know there be radiation over here or there there was maybe it's random <gasps> okay dangerous animals was not a good situation but let's try one of these locations this is awesome and since it's animals we don't need to use cover okay uh, tinkering switch weapons <gasps> what he doesn't have but he had sniping he totally had sniping what the fuck Attributes, skills. Yeah, sniper rifle. Oh, okay. I think uh, the last time we found the rifle from somewhere, didn't we? Okay, let's see now what is. She's gonna do some punching. It's uh, empty as in needs reloading. Oh my god, I, I panicked here totally. Okay. Crouch. And now let's start. much use tinkering let's let's begin this encounter on our own time I mean on our own terms <laughs> wait what since when uh, since when are there meters in Arizona? <laughs> Not to be a smart ass or anything. I mean... Okay, seven points. He is going to ambush me. Whoa... They coming in fast! Oh crap, and there's one more. Hey, is that an outpost or a TARDIS? Okay, you're on. 66, 66, 66. Oh wow, we have nearly heard them at all. Oh. 
Gotta go punching. Oh. Right. I don't know, step away or something. Shoot it. Oh, there's a spread. And in this case, you crouch. Oh, she can't crouch because it takes action points. Fuck. And there's not enough points for ambush. Should I reload at least? Three. Stand, reload. Okay, not yet. Same turn. This is not going to turn out very well, I'm afraid. Let's try out that headshot thing. Oh, and he can't. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, so that settles it. We are mending. What do you mean mending? Oh, he is doing something to himself. Whoa, <laughs> that was fast. Right, so I guess. I guess we will not uh, try our luck over there just yet. So instead, let's uh, head towards High Pool. And there might be raiders. Oh, and there'll be radiation. Ooh. And there's High Pool. Stop ticking, yay! Wait, are you telling me high pool is highly radioactive? Confirm. Dr. Echo One. Now listen, I know I said the radio tower was at the top of your to-do list, but you need to deal with the emergency situation first mm -hmm. before heading back out to get the repeaters. Repeat, help Mayor Vickstrom with his emergency, then continue with your mission to hook up the repeaters. Protecting civilians is always the Ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Number one. Okay. Sure thing. Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. 
Well, pressing space bar isn't working. Okay, so making a save here. Save. So, hi, pool. Start. And I'm going to wrap up this episode here because we are about to embark on a whole new adventure. Thank you for watching and see you soon.